Have you heard news? Giant Mokra eggs. Yo, Yuki. What's up with the giant eggs? With turtles that big, the price of bisque is gonna crash. They wash up on beach every few years, but they spell big trouble for Takoshima. What kind of big trouble? Kind I do not like to discuss. Very bad luck. Please, I need KGB help. Sure thing. Tuts, how can I, uh, 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 KGB help you out? Giant eggs must be destroyed, but Militant Defense Force is protecting them. Also, Mogra can feel babies in danger, so one cannot just blow them up. This is conundrum. That word sure sounds pretty. What's it mean again? Big trouble! We, uh, that is the KGB, still have an interest in Takashima. Uh, what do you need us to do, sweet cheeks? Eto. Well, we can safely destroy eggs if in shielded area. Like... Mm, volcano base. And that'll stop this Magra's mothering? Okay, boil baby monsters coming right up. Okay, parboiled or char-grilled, those eggs gotta get to the volcano somehow. And, uh, how? Your country has advanced technology, like flying saucer. You can use anti-gravitation beam to carry eggs to volcano and drop them in, but gently, or Mogra will know. No scrambled eggs, gotcha. And, uh, how do you like yours? What? I uh, never mind. Later, babe.
Have you heard? Uh, your country, you can. No, what? I never.
Привет, товарищ. How's it hanging? Little to the left. Hey, not bad, Goldie. So, you and, uh, you and Sergei, huh? He's really, uh, something. Where'd the two of you meet? At the KGB Academy, actually. No kidding. What was he, uh, the janitor? As a matter of fact, he finished second in our training class. Hmm. I got three guesses who came in first, and they all start with N. <laughs> I think that was part of the attraction. He'd never lost to a girl before. Wonder if he's ever lost to a Furon. So what happened? Your kids seem made for each other. He wanted me to quit. It's not easy always being second best, I expect. Tell me about it. So, did you shut down the pumps in the tunnels with those fuel rods? Yet. Too much KGB heat on the tunnels because of the theft. I should have seen it coming. Anyway, it's too dangerous for Sergei and me to infiltrate them now. Well, we gotta shut those pumps down. Whole town smells like Newark. Oh, we will, Crypto. Have no fear. And this time, I want you on the job. I need you to carry a fuel rod into each of the tunnels and place it in the reactor of each of the pumping machines. Sergei and I have hidden a container of fuel rods near each tunnel. Wait, you, you lost me. Didn't you say the tunnel entrances were crawling with KGB? No, nah, but not while the scientists conduct their weekly radiation tests. No sweat, dollface. Consider those pumps out of order.
the reactor! The reactor's overreacting! Get out of there, Crypto! Before the whole cavern explodes! <laughs>
brains, but I'd kill to know what's under that gas cloud on the surface. Ah! Bada bing, bada boom. Look at those bad boys burn. Hold the phone. What do these freaks want? Wait a minute. Now that I think of it, that machinery looks suspiciously familiar. Oh my. Holy hookers of Ark Foodle! Crypto, do you know who these freaks are? They're not commie cabbage heads? Great galaxies, no! They're not even human! They're the enemy! Our enemy! The enemy we Furons defeated in the Martian War! Crypto! They're Blisk! Blisk? Wait a minute, I, I thought we wiped the Blisk out! I have no explanation! I can barely believe my senses! But a few of them must have somehow survived! Not for long. Attention, Blisk. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. And your asses belong to me.
more to tell you about these fisk. I'm glad you're here, Crypto. We need to hunker down and do some serious strategizing. You know any place I can get one of those big furry hats? My ears are freezing off. You don't have any ears. See? That's what I'm saying. Tell me about it. You gotta fill me in on this whole Blisk thing, Pox. My... my hard drive is spinning! I hardly know where to begin! They're huge, hideous brutes with giant claws and withering halitosis! They have a single hive mind and an imperviousness to radiation! They take to it like a pig to mud! Imagine a cockroach mating with a lobster! Oi, enough already. You're making me queasy. Humans assume the Tunguska Blast of 1908 was caused by a meteorite. But now we know its true cause. The fiery crash of a Blisk warship! Listen, I, I skipped most of military history. How'd that war get started, anyway? Millennia ago, Mars was an ocean world and the Blisk ruled an underwater paradise. Frankly, they were more than a little cocky about it. The war was long and bitter, but in the end we reduced their world to desert and wiped them out! Or so we thought. We obliterated most of their warships, though one we could not account for. We assumed it had been destroyed, but it must have been merely disabled, and drifted helplessly through space until it crash-landed here on Earth. And I'm guessing the Krabbies ain't the forgiven type. After what we did to them, not bloody likely. Yeah, well, don't you worry your virtual little head, Pox. This time they're going down for good. A bold statement. Many Furons fell thanks to the Blisk. And there's another problem. Since the war, the Furon defense budget has been... downsized. I fear that most of our current weapons will be ineffective against the Blisk. Downsize the defense budget? What the hell did the Emperor do that for? The Blisk were exterminated. No one else posed such a lethal threat. We didn't need the big guns. But none of us saw this coming. Okay, well, at least we know what we're up against. What do you want me to do? I'll contact you with new orders as soon as I have some idea what's going on. Until then, just... don't do anything rash. Rash me? Nah, I got a cream for that. Clear to ride up. Привет. 
You hear anything about a Yeti in these parts? I'm, uh, I'm from the International Enquirer. Yet, yet, my eyes are old, my back is not old, my nads are small and withered. Go away! So I hear you're the one to talk to about this so-called Yeti report. What you got for me? You are really wanting to know? Then be pulling up a snowdrift, and I am telling you all about it. You think this Yeti is a real flesh and blood critter, then? Of course not. I'm not being stupid. It's not Yeti. No. No. Is giant mutant from research facility coming to devour Rosolsky? I can see why you're a hermit. Not that I don't believe you. It's all those other morons who don't see the truth, right? Da, but if we are having carcass of mutants, then we are having proof. And middle, maybe. Okay. I'm off to hunt a mysterious, deadly creature in the deep, dark woods on the word of an old man with a bum leg and questionable hygiene. I miss anything? Yet. Udachi! So I gotta find this thing and drag its dead carcass to your door, is that it? Da, now you're needing to know how to get him into forest, da? Be following me. It wouldn't be that big bunch of trees over there, would... Uh, okay, lead on, Macduff. It's easy to be finding Yeti. Just be following trail of dead body. I needing you to be dropping corpse outside hut. Then leaving. Do not be forgetting leaving. Very important. Raise yourself for the onslaught! Ah, 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 ah. Brace 
yourself from the onslaught! Somebody need an ass whooping. This is going to be sweet! Raise yourself for the onslaught! Go, 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 bro! You met me with the wrong move on now! You want some of this? Bam! Be running! The AGB must be knowing of this. They will be happy to helping me uncover secret government conspiracy. Da, no one is being trustworthy like good old KGB.
Things must be looking up, eh? You, you got a promotion or something? Da! Yesterday I am making Burgboro. It's now being my role to maintain order in town area. Lately, Russian Mafia have been going too far. Nikita Dumchov is being killed in street! Viktor Teniev is being culprit. He's taking over Russian Mafia and driving Nikita's car. You want the car for yourself? No, I am wanting car to blow up with Victor Tanayev inside. Sounds fun. Uh, where can I find the dead guy, uh, the unfortunate victim? Victor is having a lot of guards. One of them will be knowing which car is his. <laughs> And the seed I have sown will never be up. Are you hearing of new cult and major cities outside the Soviet Union? Kibatsky no, village has been scary what lately. I am thinking there are Russian Mafia, and I am wanting to keep eyes. Victor is liking red, as always. His Karski is being so cherry.
Reveat, comrade. Get to the point, Sergei. I'm a busy Furon. I have a lead on Project Solaris. You might want to follow up on it. Project Solaris, huh? Okay, I'm listening. I have the name of the researcher in charge of the Organic Weapons Program. His name is Dr. Orloff. And? No, and. That's it. Okay, so you got a name. Where am I supposed to find this Orlov guy? I have been unable to discover his current whereabouts. But this is a small town. Everyone knows everyone else's business. And I got one of those faces everybody opens up to. Although I doubt Orlov will be in a talky mood. Do what you have to do. Gee, that really means a lot coming from the KGB. Okie dokie. Good luck, comrade. And don't be afraid to get a little rough, hmm? Well, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few Fabergé eggs. Natalia is a glorious mare who will suffer no death. That is why we desire her. Natalia is a glorious mare who will suffer no bridle. That is why we desire her. Natalia is a glorious mare who will suffer. How can Dr. Orlov stand living near Frozen Lake? No heat, no running water, no indoor plumbing. Actually, it's just like rest of Soviet Union. On patrol out by Frozen Lake of the night, I was running into crazy scientists. I was thinking it was Bobcat and was nearly blowing his head off. Would have been being fun. Dead monkeys tell no tales, and I need to pick this one's brain about Project Solaris. Crap. Better save his monkey butt. Dr. Orloff has locked himself inside cabin. Flush him out! Uh, 
Come on out, Orlov! We are knowing you are being in there! I will take on hairless green poodle. You agents try to get Orlov to be coming out. We will not be coming out, then we will be blowing up cabin. We will not be able to be talking then, I am thinking. Please, you get Dr. Orlov, I presume? How come you don't get cool punctuation like Dr. Go? I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like you had a little KGB infestation. Lucky I was here to exterminate him for you. Oh, was you? I'm impressed. Excellent hand-eye coordination. You should try computer game I've been developing in spare time. Games? On a computer? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Doc. So, Doc, you got a sec? I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, is all? I was afraid you were one of alien creatures here to infect me. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm no alien. <clears throat> now, uh, about Project Solaris. Ah, Solaris, da. That I know something about. I worked on organic weapons program connected with Project Solaris. But I quit after I saw... very strange things. Define strange. Alien creatures like giant space lobsters infecting humans and manipulating their bodies like giant marionettes. Like that. I feared I might be next, so I started working on weapon to fight them with. It's probably why KGB attacked me. Or they wanted my Broadway soundtrack collection. This weapon you were working on, uh, does it work? I don't know, I never finished it. Whole thing happened by chance. I was walking to work one day when strange object fell from sky. It was fragment of alien spacecraft. Computer data bank I used to create weapon. An alien artifact with data on the blisk. Will wonders never cease? Duh, and if you found it, perhaps you could use it to defeat creatures. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Where's this data thingy now? Should still be in the research facility in Gorodok Nauki. Um, uh, science town. Catchy. 
I guess I better head over there and find it before the Krabbies do. Take care, facility is well guarded. Good luck, Tavarish. Uh, what did you say name was? Uh, Kuryakin. Uh, Ilya Kuryakin, nice to meet ya. The artifact should be quite safe in that metal container. They are being far stronger than wooden ones. Of course, it's not titanium. Oh, that stuff is being tremendously strong. And no concrete! Go. Woo! Do we not be getting sense. me started! What's the word? I hear you got a job for me. Something uh, special. Da, I'm needing you to eliminate American spy. What, another one? What do we got, uh, an infestation? It is seeming so. Our snitch was being killed right after he is telling us of second spy. And you want me to take out this pseudo-majestic character, right? You are seeming very comfortable with American culture. I've been studying them for a decade, and I still can't figure the bastards out. They're almost... alien. Then you may be perfect for job. Locals may be knowing where spies being. 
be asking them politely. Привет, Пьотр. How is it hanging? What kind of stupid name is being Science Town? Goddamn pull it, bro. No imagination. I am being completely ignorant of going on in Science Town, and therefore am being in bliss. Scientist in cooling tower is not looking like Soviet. He's not Imagine even smelling it. like Soviet. He's therefore incredibly alone. Прекрасный звонил релиз и номер рейс, да? I am not knowing scientist at Cooling Tower. Maybe he is being new to Science Town? I should be introducing self. Perhaps I will be inviting him over for food pills. I go away to discuss nature of reality with sexy female scientist and return to my coffee only to find spoon missing and then I find spoon in sealed box with cat. Schrodinger you tricky bastard. I am not knowing scientist at cooling town. Oh no. Here comes male menopause. I almost wish I hadn't gotten that informant killed. Then a man is here. It's only a matter of time before the, the, the KGB finds me. Send the you. player. Damn. We're moving along.
There's nothing funny about premature ejaculation. Damn it. Laugh while you can, Americans. Your way of life is being slowly crushed by economic dynamo that is Soviet Union. <laughs> ah, Stalin. A nation of admiring workers gives you its thanks. Except for what you do. I know I should not be laughing, but that Lenny Bruce is very funny, that guy. I cannot find decent boiled potato to save my life! Mm, 31 flavors. If only they made cabbage and vodka flavored ice creams, it would be perfect! Can I help you, comrade? Yo, the hippies are like all yours, dude. Good! Now, assassinate enemy soldier, Sergeant Foxhole. He is on docks, near crates. You want to tell me why the KGB are hiring hippies to do their dirty work? Do not blow up crates. All crates must be returned to KGB, or else... Jeez, like talking to a wall. So I kill the sergeant without hitting the crates. Wait, uh, aren't I a, a pacifist? Once you are returning crates, we will be paying you a grid upon fee. Ah, the sweet smell of political principles being compromised. Magnamara sure seems like a level-headed guy to me.
Hiya, Poxy. How's it hanging? Me, I'm riding free and easy. Keep your interminable innuendo to yourself, Crypto. I have a task for you. What do you want? You feeling peckish? Need a little TLC? Need a bloody new clone body is what I need. Apparently, the KGB have set up an armed smuggling racket in Bay City. Yeah, about that. Frankly, I'm sick of all this bickering. End it! By whatever means necessary. Really? Any way I want? Boom boom to your heart's content. Sure, I can handle that. I mean, pretty crazy situation, no doubt, huh? Yes, I know you were involved. Now find out where the KGB are. And why don't you... Oh, torture some hippies while you're at it. For information? No, for posterity. Of course you don't! Now get out there and cause some trauma! As soon as those KGB agents get off the rock, I'll let Wolfman know the coast is clear. Never be knowing that I am having secret warehouses at Ginsburg Heights and Ashbury. I am being so clever. My way is not where is sportsman line. Enough with flying. You will cease to levitate.